Hey everybody, can you believe we just finished our eighth week of the spring session? In the pre-COVID days, we'd be getting ready to have our performances at local clubs, parks, and other places too. I'm really glad we added more rehearsals to overcome these obstacles due to the quarantine. And we're almost ready for our virtual performances, where we'll play some really cool videos of the bands, share a few jokes, and of course, some food all from the comfort of our homes. Since we have eight bands, we're thinking to split up the performances so we could have two different virtual themed gigs, like a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles theme and then a Di Piazza's theme. They'll take place around 5 p.m. on June 6th and 7th. We'll make formal announcements with those details, but for now, pencil in those dates. These gigs are a precursor to our main event, Jazz on the Patio, hashtag virtual jazz angels, on June 20th from 5 to 6 p.m. We're gonna have select tunes from all our bands and edit in the Jazz Angels staff and some really cool famous musicians to play with us, including Tom Scott. It's gonna be an extremely inspiring night and it's free, hashtag virtual jazz angels. And I wanna thank all those who, who participated in our first open mic, as well as those who watched. It was a lot of fun and we'll do it again around the middle of the summer session. And speaking of the summer session, it begins the week of June 22nd and goes through August 1st. In addition to the jazz bands, we've been asked to add other music classes since so many programs will not be happening. Check out the website, it has all the Jazz Angels info. Lastly, and backed by popular demand, the riff of the week. Film yours and get them to me by Thursday, and we'll edit in a really cool, cool, a really cool clip. But now it's time for studio studio session and communication. That's right, folks. The weekly announcements. Oh yeah, we were asked to bring back the riff of the week. It could be anything, anything at all, and we'll record it. You could do something like, hi, my name is Barry, and here's my riff of the week. I borrowed that from West Montgomery, or something like that. This week was crazy, and I wanna thank you and let you know how proud I am of the progress we all made. I'm sure y'all roll your eyes when you see an email from me saying, hey, can you record this in a day? Or we can't find the recording you made. Can you resend it? What you might not know is there are 60 musicians in eight different bands and each band is playing at least three songs. And some people are playing more than one instrument in the same song. And a lot of times we did audio and video recordings. So once Albert and I got all that music to you and you got all the recordings back to us, Harry, Will, Brandon, and Max worked really hard to mix and organize it all so we could show everyone what we've been up to. This past week, everyone really stepped up and we got about 60% of everything done. That's really cool. We still have one more, one more tune to record this week. And I need to make sure you title your recording song underscore instrument underscore your full name. When you do that, things go real fast. When you don't, it's very time consuming for me to like get a recording that says 6372 MOV, because then I have to check it out, retitle, retitle it, put it in the folder so it could get mixed into the right song. If there are one or two, mm, that's not bad, but when there are 20 or 30 or 40, you can see that's a lot of typing. So let's make this week the week of good titling on all your recordings.